सो ओनली सर्किटल ब्रांचेस वर अलाउड एंड देर वॉज लो सी जी पी ए क्राइटेरिया बट मेनटेनिंग से अब सेवन पॉइंट फाइव और एट सी जी पी ए इज गुड सो टॉकिंग स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट गूगल इट डिडेंट हैव एनी स्पेसिफिक क्राइटेरियाज बट यस इट टेन टू फेवर सम सर्किटल ब्रांचेस ओवर अदर ब्रांचेस and cgpa as such was not mandatory but uh, having a high cgpa uh, did give you an edge i would say uh, so yes uh, uh, it was open to all branches but you can see from the selection criteria the circuital branches were uh, preferred a little bit more and there are uh, some hidden criterias in this companies uh, like big corporations like google and microsoft uh, so you cannot just decode them easily uh but yes it was uh, a little intensive com- uh, like as compared to being uh, in a circuital branch okay so my job role was software engineering internship and the selection process uh, was occurred in three phases first was resume selection almost everyone qualified in that second was coding round in which uh, we need to solve two questions of dp and graph uh, in one hour and after qualifying that round we need to give two technical interviews the interviews were eliminative in nature i was asked two to three questions in that interviews based on uh, th- the questions were of lead code hard and medium so the job role i was selected for uh, was software engineer uh, so it was an entry level engineering position at uh, google and the selection procedure was uh, like uh, simple as like all companies first you have to go through an olt so it basically consisted of uh, three questions uh, you have to do it under 2 hours then followed by uh, two to three rounds of interview so uh, the google's interview are completely based on uh, like dsa and uh, such questions they do not uh, go through your uh, resume and hr rounds all but uh, in between the interview uh, they asked some uh, questions about your personality and communication and your uh, uh, idea sharing skills and such so it was like a general procedure followed across all the multinationals i focused on problem solving skills and dsa i practiced uh, questions on code forces code shift at coders and i regularly gave contest on that platforms along with this for interview preparation i solved dsa sheet of striver and i gave mock interviews to my seniors and my friends and uh, regularly we discussed doubts of coding rounds uh, first things first you you have to get your dsa knowledge straight so uh, you have to uh, uh like practice all the questions from the standard uh, dss sets like striver set is one of them and uh, apart from that you have to constantly be involved in the competitive coding culture uh, so the competitive coding is uh, like required to just you know crack the questions to get uh, approaches to the question different approaches to the question and apart from that uh, you need to be a little bit uh, good at communication so uh a lot of times what happen is uh, it is difficult to share your idea with the interviewer so you have to generally keep your idea on the table and the interviewer should be able to understand it that's a uh, good strategy i would say uh, and uh, secondly just uh, uh, and secondly like uh, try not to be uh, uh, very like uh, descriptive about your answers like you are an engineer after all you are uh, uh, supposed to just uh, give out the like tick the boxes so be as specific as possible but not too vague the other competition was very intense and a lot of people apply for this role in this company so you need to practice a lot of questions to clear uh, this internship so ch- challenging i would say yes uh, but then again there was a little bit of luck factor involved like as i already mentioned there are some internal criteria that you just cannot decode so uh, the most challenging part was uh, like cracking the uh, online test itself the interview process was rather smooth if you know what you are doing and you know what you are saying the interview is just a piece of cake the main uh, challenge here was uh, clearing the olt uh, with a lot of uh, internal uh, criteria that we just uh, cannot uh, decode and know 
prior to the uh, uh, i don't know the selection and the interview was just like uh, they ask questions you have to answer it and you have to answer it in a way where they understand it and uh, they are also able to communicate and share with you so it's like a general discussion so it was uh, the interview was smooth firstly tracking all your progress in a doc will help you a lot i kept a simple doc and i have shared the doc with my host so uh, they will also get an idea uh, what task i am doing regularly secondly uh, you need to ask doubts if you are stuck anywhere uh, you can ask doubts from your team members as well so uh, regularly communicating with your team will help you a lot Uh, lastly having check-ins with your host and co-host weekly will uh, give you an idea about your progress as well what, what things you are doing wrong and uh, what time you, uh, you need to give on that part portion as well so it is a completely different world out there in the corporate world so while cracking an interview uh, or like cracking for a company you just tend to focus on competitive uh, coding and uh, uh, dsa and all such but in a corporate world you are like uh, uh, you are expected to do a lot of uh, stuffs like uh, you are expected to learn a lot of stuff stuff very quickly and uh, then to uh, along with learning you have to perform also so first and foremost the things that are already laid down to you like your uh, goals should be reached first if you cannot reach your goal on time then there should be some significant reason behind it second communication is the key uh, try to communicate with your manager and co-manager and try to have a good relationship with the team because uh, a lot of time what happens is uh, you should uh, like ask you have to ask help uh, to other teammates and it's based on how you convert that help into real work they judge you like uh, uh, is he able to like uh, perform the job or not so yes a second point was communication and third is i would say a little bit of persistence like uh, try and uh, get around like development and all so what what happens is a lot of time people just underestimate the computer science fundamentals like the database management and uh, the operating systems but in the real world in like the uh, uh, software world yeah, this concept will get around like much more time than you think it it will so yeah some common mistakes that students uh, do is they start uh, really very late for preparation uh, they do not customize their resume according to the company and they do not handle all the things like project coding rounds dsa practice very well so uh, you need to focus on every bit of this uh, so first things uh, first uh, the resume so i have seen a lot of resumes where people just make basic uh, mistakes like a spelling mistake or a line error or some indentation error so try and avoid that because one glance the hr will just take one glance at the uh, resume and the decision will be made quickly and second thing try not to over justify your achievements and all like you are not writing i got 100 rank in this and 1400 rank in that and uh, keep the projects uh, like i see a lot of people mentioning five or six projects i would say just choose two or three best and explain them in a way where you can just uh, describe how you have added value to your project and i would say it would be better if your project is a group one because that would um, uh, amplify your group performance uh, personality and all so yes uh, that's one thing one key take away i would say the first one is uh, like uh, as i've already mentioned it's a different world out there so you need to communicate constantly with uh, the stakeholders of your project so you have to take feedback from them from time to time but along with that you have to also uh, learn how to like uh, put your work on display and how to like work itself so uh, communication is the key you have to uh, build a strong bond with your team because if you get converted so you have to work with them uh, and also a lot of people uh, what they do is uh, like spend a lot of time in learning the stuff so what they are uh, thinking is they will learn all the stuff and then start working 
but many a times what you have to do is learn and work simultaneously it's not that difficult but you have to get used to it after going from a competitive college environment so yes suggestions i would like to give is start preparation early and be consistent do not skip any contest uh, regularly solve many questions uh, you can ask your seniors for guidance as well and don't stress too much so one thing uh, just uh, uh, many people uh, do this simple mistake they target for a specific company so it's not like i target for oracle for uh, my entire life and if it's uh, not oracle then it's nothing so uh, let's say you target for a set of companies a similar set of companies and then you move forward don't just uh, pin your hopes on a single company and uh, secondly uh, like uh, you have like uh, go uh, like send your resume to your seniors or some experienced person through uh, which you can get some suggestions uh, and uh, thirdly uh, don't just uh, give up hope like uh, many people just give up on competitive coding itself so coding as an whole is about consistency it's not about how you can crack a problem it's about how many similar problems you've cracked before so it's a lot about the consistency like how consistently you're giving the contests and how consistently you are practicing dsa in the lead code or uh, any other uh, uh, platform and uh, thirdly just keep on trying it's not like you have applied to 10 companies uh, it uh, you didn't get through so it's the end of the line so keep applying so uh, you'll come around in good opportunity and you'll look back and think about all the hardship you went through so just keep applying don't give up hope that easily yes it helps a lot during my internship project i was asked to take approvals from different teams as well so uh, by doing networking they uh, got to know me and the approvals were uh, very time effective so yes uh, networking helps a lot during your internship uh, lastly uh, uh, by networking you will get to know work of, of your different teams as well uh, what people are doing in google so uh, one thing that is an advice to the freshers like get into some clubs and do some real work done because uh, if you uh, don't get in uh, don't get involved in some clubs and do some work go out in in some uh, events or go out in some competitions you will not meet other people and know how to talk how to communicate how to express so for example i am in uh, two or three uh, very active clubs and i have been part of them for a very long time i have been to competitions i have arranged events like in and outside of college so i have a little bit of experience on uh, in how to talk to people and how to get work done so that have helped me quite a bit because i was able to communicate with other team members because uh, a lot of time in corporations your work won't be centered around uh, one team you have to communicate with other teams you have to uh, get uh, your manager and your manager's manager on page on, before building something so you have to actually uh, learn a bit and uh, you have to actually learn how to talk to people so this is one interpersonal skill that uh, i would uh, recommend everyone to have and secondly i think i have already mentioned it the computer science fundamentals let me get this straight the operating system and dbms are not just for interview that will be required in your uh, uh, in the project you will be building uh, in uh, the projects you build for your resume are be, like uh, web development or uh, app development projects but that have become app obsolete try on uh, some new uh, technologies like they are evolving anything like uh, web trc or uh, like some specific like bitcoin try something new because it's always the diversity in your resume that counts and uh, in the corporate world you have to work on a very niche on a very specific uh, uh, section of a very specific project so you have to learn a lot of things before going in that don't give a lot of time into learning so learn and work simultaneously it will help you a lot and uh, participate in a lot of hackathons because hackat the hackathons are the closest thing that we have to the uh, competitive corporate world out there so in the hackathons you'll get the idea what the problem statements generally look like and how to get around solving them so yeah these were the things that uh, actually helped me in converting my uh, internship into an ppu